How's it going, guys? It's me, Domo of the Domo Channel, here today with our continuation of our Let's Play. If my heart had wings, Kono Zorani Subasawa Hirogete. Been practicing my Japanese, of course, maybe not. So, it's been a while since I've done one of these recording sessions. Um, I know on the channel there's like about 14 parts maybe, but you know, they were all, those parts were done in like about three days worth of recording sessions, and I haven't recorded any other parts until this day. Why? Because I want to continue this amazing art of a game and visual novel, and continue it with you, the viewers. Uh, so... I do not remember what happened last time, but we are going to find out. So, join me on this glorious day that we return back to... If my heart and wings. So, um... One thing I will note, that if some things sound off, like the audio of the game, or me even, or the system sounds too loud, I apologize, I have not been recording whatsoever, so I don't remember my trick set up, like, well, how to set things, so there's just that, and I'm pretty sure on, um, this part of the video, I'm gonna have to skip some stuff, because of some censor censorship and censoring sexual nudity, etc., I would put it on the channel, except I don't have the expertise editing to censor stuff, you know, so I apologize for that, but I'll, you know, I'll say what happens or whatever or not. Um, and other than that, I will also make this a very long one to commemorate me returning to this game. So, let's get on with it. Be prepared for my voice and narration. Uh, here. So if that's too loud, then please feel free to tell me and I'll probably have to redo my setup. It's really loud to me. <laughs> so, load the game! Okay. After that, Tori calmly got into the bath with Kanako. Oh gosh. Where did I leave off? Kanako also made sure not to meddle unnecessarily and was very considerate towards Tori to help her calm down. What happened to the last part? While I was doing the door mother's jobs in the kitchen, Katori had gotten out of the bath and came to see me. Can I see what happened? Darn it! I'm so lost right now, guys. I'm sorry. While I was doing the door mother's job, oh wait, I said that already. She looks pretty embarrassed. About what? Thanks for just. Wait, did I save her already? Okay, so. This might actually be after the part where I save her. So basically, if I'm correct, so the last part we left off in part wherever, I think it was 15. Um, basically, Tori tries to go in the shower by herself, and like, she trips or she falls into the shower, and then we rush in and save her. But, you know, censorship and sexual nudity made me have to skip that part because I can't censor it with my editing skills. So I think where I saved off, this was like, um, after that. So she, you know, that has stuff happened already. So apologies on my part, I'm so lost right now, but I hope you will bear with me on my continuation of this game. Well, I, uh, never mind. <laughs> so we probably did. I stopped myself from saying something like that's an, like that's another one of the door mother's jobs. Oh, I see. The reason why I did that just now was not because I am door mother. It's because well, I don't remember it, so I'm not really shocked. Ah, this game! I swear, gosh. Um. I didn't know how to answer, and Katori left me behind and went back to her room. Yes, what happened already? Also, 
What? Oh yeah, I forgot she's trying to drop out. Oh. I'm pretty sure we're still in the common root phases of the thing. I know we've made choices already. Extend the wings, let's fly this guy highly, quote of the day, etc. So, yeah, um, I don't know if we made choices in this game yet. I don't know if we're going for like a certain route, but... Oh no, I freaking hate her. Leave it to me. So, yeah, I don't think we made choices yet in this game. When we make a choice, I don't know which route I'm gonna go for. I don't know if I wanna do every single route of the game just because that would take too long. I guess I'm just gonna pick my favorite route or like the one I really feel like going for, but we'll see how that works. Leave it to me! What are we doing? What's going on? At Agaha's signal, I ran ahead to block the cat's escape route. What the hell? Yeah, this sounds. I apologize, this sounds really loud. I'm getting so paranoid because, like, with the, I have, like, the way I'm recording this, I have, like, stereos blasting the sound, and you're just hearing me talking through recording. So, it sounds loud to me, which thinks, makes me think it's loud to you guys. So, once again, comment if this is too loud or not. Agiha and I blocked the straight cast path, and it searched for a third route. Too bad. And there was... Oh, gosh. There was Katori as she made an almost sickingly cheerful smile. Okay. Oh, yeah, I told you fish, right. I'll spread about it. Now that's how to talk to a cat. Yeah, you bait them with fish. Katori dangles an anchovy which captivates the cat. I thought, oh, yeah. A tortoise shell cat? What the hell is that? However, oh, oops. however, as expected of a straight cat, it won't let let down its guard so easily. The what? Tori nods and takes out a small fishing rod. Oh my goodness! An anchovy hangs on the end of the line. This is <laughs> this feels like animal cruelty for a second. They're like teasing a cat for food. Dangle, dangle. Just like a blessing descending from heaven, the anchovy draws the straight cat's attention. Oh gosh. With Katori skillful waving the rod, she was almost literally reeling the cat towards her with the anchovy. This is so weird. Just as the cat reaches out its paw, Katori times the pulling away of the anchovy so that the cat cannot reach it. It really was a little mean. See, even I agree with you. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Me and the characters sort of have this, like, mutual, like, agreement with each other on things. So it's kind of weird, but it's funny at the same time. Eventually, the cat, running out of patience, uses its last resort. Jump. It uses jump attack. The cat jumped onto Katori's lap all by itself. Oh my goodness. Amazingly, the cat sailed into Katori's arms. Oh my gosh, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I've said this, like, past things, but I hate Aya so much. She's annoying. I can't believe it fell for such a stupid plan. Me too, man. Me too. I felt like saying, come on, Stray Cat, you can do better than that. Uh, not really, no. No. Debated my fish. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Katori shows a side that we'd never seen before and smiles affectionately while stroking the cat. I think I'm more of a dog person, so no thank you. But cats are cool too, I mean. The cat seemed like it didn't really enjoy being stroked, but he's too focused on the large amount of anchovies to run away. Lol. Food triumphs over all. Uh, I don't know if it's a boy cat or a girl cat, we'll see. Right now, what's going on through my mind, I'm just curious how I got that sound. 
for this game. Oh my goodness, oh, things. Food for thought. Oh, stray cats, of course. Hagaha starts stroking him too. All girls like cats. I might disagree with that, but, you know, it's just me. Is it okay if I stroke him too? Oh gosh, no. See, this cat's not scared. What? She just said, oh my gosh, translation is wrong. We're not gonna let him go, I just wanna show it. Um, but I like cats too. Uh, no, I like dogs more, I think. This seems a bit unfair. Okay, I'll agree to that part. Oh, I remember now, they're trying to complete her list of thing to do list. Next is. Oh, right here. I open the notebook to check. Do stuff, check, do stuff, do stuff, do stuff, check. I can't read Japanese, so feel free to translate that for me. Things I want to do. It's the list of bullet points that Katori has written in her notebook. <laughs> Completed. We are now in the middle of clearing Katori's list of things she still has left to do. As Agaha and I look at the notebook, Katori looks at us sideways, but not with suspicion. Did we steal this from her? How did this situation occur? To answer that, we need to go back to this morning. Oh my goodness, flashback time, let's go! This morning, I was ambivalent to as as to whether or not I should return the withdrawn list I picked up to its rightful owner. That is correct. Of course, you should typically return lost items back to the owner, but if I had done that, then Katori would leave the dorm, so I kept it. You... Mm. If that's what she wants to do, then I have no right to stop her. But I was still hesitant for some reason. You know what, I already think I know what route I'm going with this game. It's it's too in my face to not decide. So I was pacing back and forth along the hallway until... Katori, who was wearing a uniform, poked her head out from her room. She was feared furtively checking the situation outside. As our eyes met, she slams her door shut. Dang it, is he still shy at us? Why is she acting so suspiciously? Katori is always doing something suspicious, but there is definitely something behind her behavior just now. I concealed myself in the dining hall for a while. I wait ten minutes. Hat appears from the little door at the bottom of Katori's bedroom door. Oh, I like hat. I miss you. This, this duck is awesome. Hat took a look around the entranceway, then came into the dining hall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I miss that quack so much. Shh. Don't ruin my cover. Heck. Oh. Whoops, I forgot what I've read. Hat goes back to Katori's room. Yes, there's no one there. Oh, I missed that sound. Yes. What does she mean by alright? Katori came sneaking out of her room. She too took a peek into the dining hall just to be safe. I hid behind the counter. I don't think I will, but you're just putting this on yourself. When she says that guy, it feels like she's talking about me. I mean, we're the only guy here, dude. Unless they count Hat, but he's a duck. Tori's wearing a uniform, but she isn't carrying her bag. And the entrance way, she opens up her notebook and looks inside. I sneaked up behind her. I think that notebook is in her wheelchair, like a compartment. Now that's awesome. Oh yeah, it also says I sneak up behind her. Are you going to skip school again today? <laughs> that, you know, if that's really loud for you guys, then I apologize. <laughs> Headphone users, rip, warning. Katori jumped out, let out a scream, and threw the notebook. Um, it didn't work out that much. 
That's why you should stop sending a duck to scout for you. As I pick up the notebook that she dropped, I look at the open page. Things I want to do. This is the page I saw before. Could it be that you're planning to do all this before you quit school? Dang, we're dead center. Seems like I was spot on. Or that too. I handed back the notebook. Then I follow Katori as she is about to leave. I go the same way, come on, paranoid. I'm going to help. Oh. Good question, why? It must be tough for yourself, right? Tori looks at me like I'm an idiot. I am not an idiot. Alright, I'm dumb. Who the frick? Was that me? Or was that my phone? Or was that the game? Which one is it? Why are we stopping in front of the world of all rings? Okay, never mind. That was the game. I panicked for a second. Who could it be this time? Oh, who could it be at this time? Damn it. I'm so done with this girl. I got Yes, we're both here. What did you come here for? Agawa pulls me towards her and whispers into my ear. Oh, you got a gut feeling, I see. So she came all this way to here to ask Tori to go to school with her. Bullseye. Yeah, the truth is that... How should I explain this? Do we get a choice? Tori, I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna borrow your notebook. I go back to the toilet and take the notebook. <laughs> Using that, I explain the situation to Ageha. I explain that today she wants to finish the things I want to do list that is written in this notebook. I don't tell her about Katori's plan to quit school. Ageha groans a little as she looks at the list. Oh, that's because I'm too fast. And that's why we're here! That's how Ageha and I ended up going with Katori against her wishes to clear the things remaining on the list one by one. How's my battery? Perfect. Off. One of the brightness changes now. By the way, as far as urgently searching for members for the club goes, last night we came up with a possible prospect. Oh yeah, we need members for a club too. That's why we're going with Katori. No. Say Katori while struggling the cat, but we don't listen. To skip school or help a girl. Skip school or help a girl. I don't know which one is the worst, but skipping school to help a girl is not bad, I guess. I got points tit and red. Um, oh my goodness, how many things are there? I think that's the title. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Struck the head of the big dog in the neighborhood. It's really scary, but it might be unexpectedly friendly if possible. I'd like to ride around its back. It's probably this one. From the list. The Ito family are rich and have a well-known and very large dog called Pedigree that roams around freely in our garden. When we were kids, it was rare to see such a big dog, and we would often watch him lumbering around their spacious lawn. I'd like to ride around on its back. What the heck? Who said that? So far, I have looked up Katori on two occasions. Both times when she she was light as a feather. Well, perhaps that's slightly exaggerating, but she was really light. A Saint Bernard? Like a dog type? I don't know dogs types, I'm sorry. Pedigree is a Saint Bernard. They're pretty huge. Oh, that makes sense. Well, seriously, considering Katori's silly idea, we were headed towards the Ito house. 
Fade to black. Transition. Ah, the windmills. I love the windmills in this game. Yeah, it's been 20 minutes and it's recording and I'm sweating. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, who cares, Agatha? No one cares. It said Agatha, she put the baggage down on the grass. Today is dry and sunny, and the temperature isn't that high. It's quite hot in the sunlight, but there's a nice breeze. Here, I throw a sports drink to Agatha. Catch! There's one for you, too, Katori. Oh man, I'm starting to feel tired. Anyways, I take some orange juice from the convenience store bag and pass it to Katori. So quiet. Do you want to sit down here? Aga, give me a hand, would you? Aga, who looks like she's enjoying her sports drink, gets up and comes over. I want to put you down here. So you can't. So that way you can't run away. I leave lifting up Katori to Aka and tell her how to do it while I give a hand from the side. Katori sits down on the grass and looks comfortable as she stretches her back. Don't need to know that. It seems that wheelchairs can get quite hot in summer. Oh, it's making me hungry now thinking about this. The time is now 12.30. And the time I'm recording this is 7.27. Same thing. It's exactly the time for our lunch break. We spread out the lunch boxes that we brought and the juice and snacks we bought from the convenience store. So convenient. We don't have a sheet, but it feels like we're having a picnic. Oh, so that's how you spell it. This translation's technically correct, but you know, it's supposed to say thank you for the food or something like that. I made both mine and Katori's lunch boxes while Agha had brought her own. Agatha wolves down the burger that she got by trading. She looks like she's enjoying it. Oh gosh. It's not our fault. Your mom's good at cooking though, isn't she? True. Yes. I guess. Why are you also silent? Tori's face seemed to say that she wasn't really suited for the situation, and she quietly ate her lunch. However, she didn't look as irritated as she was before. Aika either hadn't noticed or was pretending not to have noticed and carried on behaving the same way she always does. Annoying, cheerful, kind-esque, I don't know. Oh, right, we did that, huh? The injection. Oh my goodness. School shots? Come on. I guess that's a fair trade. Said Agatha playfully. She seems quite excited about skipping school for the first time. If your mom finds out, she'll totally. She's totally gonna kick your ass. <laughs> oh. Agatha's mother doesn't hold back when she gives her daughters a kick in the ass. I've been kicked too many times, like when Agatha and I got caught playing tricks. And I've been beat up by Agatha too, so same here. Those kicks are big, heavy, and painful. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay, I got it. She'd kick me too for something like this. I say that, but I don't want her to worry unnecessarily. Did we pet the dog already? We all looked in the notebook. 
We managed to fish five of five of them this morning. Okay, so let's say this one's done, this one's done. So let's say one, two, three, four, five. Those two more are left. As for pedigree, the Itos recognized Agiha and they left into the garden. We weren't able to have her ride on his back, but Katori gave pedigree a hug, so we continued that as a success. Or counted that. In the end, it was quite tough for her to roll around and play with him. Pedigree probably weighs more than Katori. On top of that, he licked her all over her face. She looked like she was ecstatic. <laughs> What's cafe? What the f cafe flags? Six flags? What? Ichni, Sanchi, go. No. Agaha, read that from the list. Where is that? In Windy. Oh, the mall? What? Why? Katori, who had suddenly gone red, drew a line through that entry with a red pen. Agha whispers into her ear. What is this? What is this? <laughs> I was confused too, man. Something said. Something was said to Katori, and now she is desperately trying to cover something up. What could it be? To find out, we will see you the next time on Doma Plays If My Heart Had Wings. I'm just kidding. Oh, so it's like some kind of like sweets cake factory, yes, or restaurant thing. Hmm, do you want to go there? What a, what's so bad at the misunderstanding? But we'll go there the next time on. I'm just kidding. What kind of place is it? That kind of place? It's not just a normal cafe. Oh, that doesn't matter. Just go with friends. It's the same damn thing. Am I gonna, I don't remember much of this game. Honestly, it's been so long since I completed it. But I think we choose one of the girls in this game to go to the cafe with. And that's just like a thing. I don't know. I might just be making stuff up, but who knows. Pow! Katari pointed at me. What, the, what did I do? She's strongly denying it, but it's not like I really have any suspicions about it. I don't think it's a bad idea. Why not? You want cake? Go ahead. See, if you think into things too much, and you're like, just like, you know, oh, it's the place for couples, let's not go there, then you're just totally gonna like, you know, not want to go anymore because you think it's not fit for you. That's the yeah, I see you're thinking too much. Katori had gone red and was looking down. Let's just go. It's not that big of a deal. Well, I don't mind. Is that place expensive? See? Eight hundred yen. I forgot how much the money thing is in American. I think eight hundred yen is like eight dollars. Yeah, that, that sounds fair. That is a little steep. It sounds like you've been there. What? Three? What? Wait a minute. Oh, it's 13, yeah. The homemade milfil. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like a mil milfil. Milfile? What the frick? How do you pronounce this? <laughs> this is gonna be the title of this damn video. Milfile? What? Milfil? I oh, forget. It's like, I know a Vanguard car that's named that. I'm just like, uh. For one cake? $13 for one cake? I guess it is in the same place as the supermarket that sells high grade marbled meat for 2,980 yen for 100 grams. For doing the work of the door mother, I can get a small allowance from my mom, so. Next month will be okay. Boom! 
Ah, uh, you don't have any say in this. It's decided. No one said it was a date. Overthinking it. <laughs> I didn't say anything. It must be important because he said it twice. I was overwhelmed by her vigor and nodded without saying anything. So, one more thing crossed off the list? As she once silently dropped the subject, she used the pen to thoroughly blot out the entry. Alright, I'm probably gonna go 10 more minutes in this, so let's get this done. It might have bled through to the other side of the page. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I was in it for the cakes. Huh? No, I don't. It's evil. Evil. This girl. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I told you I was in it for the sweets. Yeah, a cake. The cake is a lie, right? No. I wouldn't get disappointed about something like that. Besides, did I really look disappointed? I'll get her clear the way to lunchboxes and open a bag of snacks. Oh my goodness, you guys ate so much! We bought a lot because it felt like we were going on an excursion. I pronounce pronunciation skills. <laughs> well, I'll get her eat some, prep snacks, she takes another look at the notebook after Katori had finished blotting it out. Speaking of which, we were in the middle of talking about what to do next. What's what? Akira was looking at the entry at the number one spot on the list. It was written much bigger than the other entries. Also, that's a freaking thing! Derp. I want to pass through the passage of cloud. Oh, I got chills just right now. Oh my goodness. I got chills. I know what they're talking about. Oh my gosh, and the soundtrack of this game is so beautiful. I'm going to put it up. You know, I am going to go and put up the thing because I love this soundtrack. Yeah, I thought that was quite mysterious too. What is that? What do you mean you don't know? What? Enter Katori while crunching the prex snacks that Agaha had given her. Now that she mentions it, the handwriting is different. Eat as much Hargan Darts as I want. And so on are written in nice uniform writing. Compared to the meticulously neat handwriting, I want to pass through the passage of clouds was written in a way that seemed bold and spirited. Good question. Find out who the find out who the owner of this notebook is in the next video of the okay, I'm done with that reference. <laughs> there are a few entries written in this unbridled fashion and below are the neatly written entries. Tori had added to it continuing from what someone else had written. Oh, that makes sense. Like after so these ones are Katori's. These two are the other girls, I probably assume. You found it? What do you mean you found it? What? But she says that it's a diary. I feel hesitant to just go ahead and open it. Had Katori read it? Ooh, that's okay. Without thinking, Agaha and I both made a face like, why? While Katori remained quiet. I don't think that it's because it would be a shame to waste the unused pages. The thing that I was more concerned with was... I want to pass through the passage of cloud. What is a passage of cloud? If it's clouds we're talking about... Oh, I love this game. I look up. 
There is a blue sky and a few clouds and then a giant windmill. The windmill blades moving around slowly in the wind look a lot like the wings of a glider. Wait, what? I don't want to donate blood. I don't want to donate blood. That's. I mean, I've done it before, but I'm like, you know, the thought about it is kind of scary. Really? You guys had trouble donating blood? My eyes are still flickering. What the frick do you guys do? The last thing we did was. Complete Lady and Silver Gun. What the hell is Lady and Silver Gun? The final entry on the list. If you're wondering what that is, it's a shoot 'em up game, and until just now, we were at the video game arcade where we finally completed it by repeatedly using continues and taking because. Wait, what? Continues and what? Continues and taking turns. Because it was so hard, it made getting up to the ending all the more impressive. Oh my goodness, they played games. I am not a fan. They don't have arcades here anymore, so I'm no good at shoot 'em ups. I'm sort of okay with it. Dang it, Ali, you're not fitting the personality. The best at this game was Agatha that Katori. Are you kidding me? It seemed like Katori had played it from time to time when she skipped school before. She must have gotten mad with the incredible difficulty of the game and said, One day, I will complete this game and added that entry to the notebook, it seems. Oh my goodness, that's like a rage. I don't know. We had to spend 30,000 yen to complete it. That's like 30 bucks. Dang it, guys. Yes! Wait, no. No, we didn't go to the cafe and we didn't go through the passage of clouds. We had also finished the entries that Katori hadn't written while we were at it. The one left was to pass through the passage of clouds. Or, the only one left was to pass through the passage of clouds. Goodness, words. Since we didn't know what that meant, we had virtually cleared the whole list. Yes. I'm glad we finished before dinner. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to eat after this recording. What's up? She's thinking something and she's lying to us. Katori's expression seems dark. The same as Agha. It looks like she's... Feels like unexpectedly disappointed now that's all over. Like it wasn't enough. I mean, yeah, that's like if you have a list of things to do and you do them all in one day, then you know what's left is nothing. That's the point. Okay. Hopefully, your mom won't find out about this. She probably will. The school. Won't the school contact the parent and. No, they won't do that. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, I see. But Hotaru is quite serious. If she realizes that you hadn't gone to school, she might tell your mom, right? Oh, no, do not use the sister card and freaking get me in trouble. No. What? How could you? Are you gonna tell on me? Ah, uh, I don't feel like getting one. Oh, what the hell is that? She said jokingly and turned to face Katori. She said with a smile and turned to leave. With a spring in her step, she walked up the gentle slope. Katori went to say something, so Agatha stopped walking. Say it! Say it! Tori looked down and faltered as she spoke. This time she looked like she was about to cry. Oh my goodness. Agatha waited for a little while waited for a little while for Katori to open her mouth. Patiently. However, Katori didn't say any more. Darn it! Hey, Katori oh, whoops, I'm not voicing you. I wonder if you could hear the background, because my the computer is heating up, so... Okay. 
今日お話があって会いに行ったんだお話一緒にやろうよスワリング部葵から聞いたよグライダーのことを詳しいでしょガレージに行くのいつも楽しみにしてたんでしょ Hey, don't get me involved in this. Hmm. So that's what she was going for. Agatha closed her mouth and waited for a reply. There was no mistake that Katori was ambivalent. She was certainly interested in gliders, so I think she would actually really like to join the soaring club. That's why now she might be able to express those feelings. Oh my goodness! Agatha's expression dropped at Katori's blunt refusal. Oh my goodness, no, shit's going down. I can't end the episode here. This time, Katori seemed irritated by Agatha's remark. Ooh. Hold it, calm down, both of you. Okay, I need to step in after this point. Why are you arguing all of a sudden? I stepped in, so they don't they can't ignore me. After we had so much fun today, let's just cut it out. Whoa. Boy, after we had such a fun day, let's just cut it. Whoa. Agatha pushed me aside like I was in a way. See? It's no good. It looks like she's quite pissed off about the kissing up comment. Agatha pointed her finger at Katori's face as if to say their irrefutable evidence. Oh, what? Faltering for a moment from hearing Katori's words, Akiha stayed tight lipped. Her cheeks went red. Katori told her and turned the wheelchair sideways. Uh, hey! Wait, I go, I live the same way. With that, she left by herself. Aga? Damn. <laughs> but that's not the reason why you did it, though, is it? Aren't you also being misunderstood? Agaha, this time looking like she didn't want to talk, with trembling shoulders, climbed the gentle slope. I watched her from behind as she left and then hurried back to the dormitory. Alright, we'll end it here. Katori! Hi, right, Katori! Alright, we're gonna end this here. Thank you guys for watching this suspenseful episode of If My Heart Had Wings. It has been great to be back, and 40, these long sessions of recordings are really... Whew. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, or next part of my playthrough of If My Heart Had Wings. 
So thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Comment if the you know audio was too loud or too low, or if I talk too loud. Then you know if there are some issues with this you know system because I'm new at this again. Then feel free to comment. And if you haven't subscribed so that you are informed of all my uploads and whateverness my videos. So I'll thank you guys and I'll see you guys. Oh wait, before I do that, save the game. Yes. Oh, yes. Ah, it feels so good to be back. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time, so take care, and see you guys.